When I wanted to buy this car, I was looking at the accessories and to tell you the truth, I haven't found much information about them. So that's why I thought it would be a very good idea to show you what accessories I bought for this car and if they were any good. First, it's a Lightning to USB adapter. This is for iPhone. Apart from the fact that it has a Mazda logo, I don't know, it's ordinary. So it's USB-A and Lightning. It is written made for iPhone, iPad, iPod. So this means it should be okay. It should not have any problems using it. I will see in time. If I will get problems with it, I will let you know retractable so uh, you can um, have it longer or shorter okay i've changed my mind i no longer recommend this piece of <laughs> don't want to say bad things one day I decided to pop out and the spring here scratched my car unfortunately so yeah i've contacted mazda they will probably replace it but i'm afraid of using it in the car I don't want uh, it to be scratched further than that, so do not buy it. On the website, you do not get much information about it. You may believe it's something else, but it's not. It's only this, which costs, I do not remember, I think around 25 euros. And with this money, you will probably buy a better cable. So, um, yep, that's it. After almost one year the cable is pinched it's not the cable's fault it doesn't matter if you are using this cable or other one you have to pay attention on this part when you are closing it you can pinch the cable if the cable is caught here you see here in this part you can pinch it mine is not that badly destroyed to pose issues it's working however this can be avoided so after one year this cable still works without issues of course the retractable part is no more because like i said i scratched my car and i don't want to scratch it further so i have used it like this i didn't bother to get the replacement from mazda because i did not want to get it exploded again <laughs> anyway i've switched to 15 pro and with that i went with a different type of cable this one USB A and USB C. Of course, this comes with different issues. Fortunately, on my car, on this car, uh, I don't have problems that other manufacturers have. I have another video in which I present different cables which I use for this car and are working without issues. So uh, make sure to look it up on my channel. <laughs> These are uh, small caps which have a Mazda logo. They are very nice. When you buy a new car, sometimes you get excited with all the accessories. And they are four, of course. Yeah, one year later, they are not bad. I'm surprised that they were not stolen yet. This is something very interesting. Key covers, platinum quartz, which looks amazing. It has instructions. These are the original covers. I do not use any keychain, so probably that's why it's not uh, that worn. And I keep it in my pocket without anything else near it. I dropped it and you can see a little scratch here. Let's face it, I was crazy. It costed 100 euros, <laughs> but I love it. It is the same as the car platinum quartz i do not regret buying it and also something which i regret that i bought it cup holder organizer on the website was looking better it's not well finished you see this one is scratched here so it doesn't look premium at all you see it fits here no problem with that however i cannot close this door so each time I do not need it, I will have to put it somewhere else. And I don't want that. Probably I will return it. I don't know what was in my head. I did not return it. This is my first cut. 
however it doesn't properly fit mm, definitely this product is not for this car this is another thing which is misleading on the website so it should not be there i cut it further it fits there but it's ugly yeah it's still ugly after one year but i've used it without issues of course the alternative the better the best alternative is to to send it back or better to not buy it at all because it's not for this car you see how small it is after i um, after my cosmetic cosmetic <laughs> adjustments i still do not understand why it's still on their website and on this model because this is 100% not for this model so it should not be there somebody will have to tell them probably they do not know this came with my car, temporary puncture tire repair kit, which, to tell you the truth, it did not help much. Last time I tried to use the car's wheel was so damaged, <laughs> I was not able to do anything with it. I didn't even try because the hole was big. Anyway, these two things come with the car and you will have to move them. And this one also. Two foams and they are very big as you can see looking at the kit that i bought we have the jack spanner some bolt to tighten the wheel and this is for tightening the the jack this insulation and this foam which is uh, differently constructed the mat that comes with it is um, it has this hard part bigger you see if we are comparing it with the one which comes with the car they are different this one doesn't fit nowhere here so i will probably make a hole here and put it like this i will see the jack sits here on the right side there is a plastic cover on it This is the trunk protection. I had another one aftermarket on my previous car, which was more than enough. But this time I decided to buy the original. And we'll see how long it will last. Oh my, Cinderella, it's a perfect fit. Looks very nice. Yep, there are some scratches, but very thin. In the rest, it is quite okay. The logo here is scratched, but do not expect to have it <laughs> used and perfect, right? No, it's not possible. But it's not broken, it's still flexible. And the car sat uh, outside in uh, high temperature all summer. And of course, below this uh, carpet that comes with the spare wheel kit is uh, as new. Well, I have it as new on my BL also because I was using um, a cover on it. So um, you would not expect to have this dirty or used. And also floor mats, luxury. I had the same, I mean similar luxury package on the other car and they lasted a lot so we think they should be okay. There is a sticker on the logos, yeah they look nice, not much to look at. <laughs> there is this retention here, you see you have to, to fix them here, that's it, okay. So they will uh, stay in place. Let's remove the sticker. Oh, the logo is no more visible. Obviously, after only almost 20,000 kilometers, you would not expect to have some 
visible damage to the carpets however there is here on this side where I put my heel I'm not sure if you are able to see you see this part it's a bit used on my previous car BL I uh, developed a hole here <laughs> after six years I think they are starting to get ruined here and this is a problem of design I met it also on my other BL Mazda, Mazda 3 BL 2011 there is no retention and you are pushing it forward with your feet here will get damaged here also unfortunately there is no way to keep it in one place unless you glue it down but you don't want to do this that's it go away <laughs> jokes aside this is part of the podcast so if you want to hear more and see more about this car do not hesitate to subscribe and why not like and share this video it's very helpful thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one